you guys, I've been wasting my time. And I'm sorry to say, but you're wasting yours too. Point blank, period. What's up guys, my name is Essence and welcome back to my channel. Today, it's all about Felicia Leatherwood. Okay, so I know that I'm super late to the detangling brush game. I use a wide tooth comb, that's just what I'm accustomed to using, that's what I've used throughout like my transitioning and everything like that, but with all of these brushes around, I knew that I had to try this. I had to try this brush because to be honest, detangling is one of the most annoying processes in the wash day routine and I just can't stand it. So anything that can speed up the process and help me to lose less hair, I'm here for that. But before we get into it, let me just say one thing. If you're not subscribed, no problem. I'm not judging you. I love you. We're just gonna go ahead and solve the problem, all right? And we're just gonna go ahead and click the subscribe button right now. It's totally cool. So don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just subscribe. Don't worry about it, okay? I'll talk to you later. But apparently, Felicia Leatherwood is a celebrity hairstylist and all of these other things. And so that's her. What up, Felicia? What's up, girl? Hey, how you doing? Thanks for the brush. It is wash day. I always start off my wash day routine with a pre-poo and you already know. It's the African Pride aloe um, and coconut water pre-poo, it's the best. Thank me later, go buy it, save your lunch money, go buy it, and then thank me later. <sighs> this smells so good. So I am fresh out of um, Crochet Passion Twist. If you haven't seen the video, Go watch it. Okay, so I'm fresh out of crochet passion twist. So my hair is oh. so I'm fresh out of crochet um, passion twist, which means that my hair was just basically braided up in the back for about two, three weeks. I don't remember. I didn't keep them in for that long because that's a different story. That's a different video. But I didn't keep them in for that long, but my hair was braided in the back and I had mini twists in the front. So my hair is definitely in need of a detangling. So we're really, really putting this brush to the test today. Um tangled all around. So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and put my pre-poo in. Nothing special. But note, if you have high porosity hair, try this pre-poo because um, high porosity hair really, really likes aloe. So definitely try this, um, definitely try this pre-poo if you have high porosity hair. You're lucky. So I'm actually going to take this section and pin it away. This is going to be my Felicia Leatherwood section. And I'm going to take this section and I'm just going to use my wide tooth comb so I have like a fresh comparison, you know? So I always start from the ends, of course. Oh, that wasn't too hard. Thanks, wide tooth comb. Ruining up the experiment. Okay, now I'm gonna try the Felicia Leatherwood brush, and to be honest, this this section is a little bit bigger than the back section that I just did, so let's see here. First of all, it's so, it's so wide, like the hand part, it's so, you know, you gotta find your grip, you know? All right, so I'm gonna start at the end. Oh, oh, <sighs> we need to do that again. We're going to do it again. We're going to do it again. Wow. My hair is so detangled, like. Huh. And this section is significantly bigger than the back section. Like, if I can't even put this into one twist, because it's so chunky. Like, look what happens when I put this into a twist. Like, that's how, like, big difference, big difference. This part is more dry, more tangled, because as I said, I had mini twists in the all in the front across here for my protective style, so... To be honest, I would watch these videos and think to myself, like, there's not a huge difference between, like, a wide tooth comb 
and a detangling brush like the Felicia Leatherwood or the Tangle Teaser, like, okay, it might save you one or two, like, passes or something, but like, you know, what's the big deal? We see the big deal. All right, so I'm gonna grab the brush again. I'm gonna start at the end. Like that was so easy. That was so easy. What? I feel like I've been wasting my time. Literally, I've been wasting my time. Yep. You see how the bristles are spreading apart? See that? Look! This doesn't hurt. This doesn't hurt at all. And look, look at this big section I'm doing. <sighs> look at that. You guys, I've been wasting my time. And I'm sorry to say, but you're wasting yours too. Point blank, period. So just for kicks right now, I'm gonna go back to the wide tooth comb. Because I just feel like, is this in my head or is this real life? Like, is this real life? I'm gonna go back to the wide tooth comb. I'm gonna go back to the wide tooth comb because I wanna like, did I forget how the wide tooth comb feels? Did I forget? I don't know if I maybe forgot, okay? That's how much hair I just lost from that, that one section. <sighs> I'm disappointed in us. We should have known better. Okay, so as I twist my hair up, I want to explain what the diff what the real difference is. Okay, obvi obviously you know there's a difference. Um, and you knew there was a difference before you clicked on this video because you know you've seen 250 videos before this you know, using this brush. Um, the difference is that the Felicia Leatherwood brush, it's so smoothing. Like, after I brush my hair out, it feels very smooth. Like, I could have brushed my hair out and worn my hair in an afro and just gone. Like, it would have been perfect. It is so smoothing. And it never feels tangled. Like, you know how sometimes you feel like you can rip through your hair with your wide tooth comb? It doesn't feel like that with this brush. I've been wasting my time. I've been wasting my time. Time is precious. I'm not mad. Seriously, this is a time saver that took like two seconds. And one thing that I forgot too is this is so wide. I know that this is a wide tooth comb, but realistically you can only use, there's only so much you can do without your hair feeling like it's getting snagged and tangled with this. Whereas this is so wide, like, I'm gonna compare it to my diamond brush. Like, you see how wide it is? This is like double the width of my diamond brush. Obviously there are bigger diamond brushes out there, but the teeth of the Felicia Leatherwood brush are so much longer and the brush is so much wider, you can cover more surface area like of your head, you know? You can, you can detangle more hair using the Felicia Leatherwood brush. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and detangle the rest of my hair and yeah, we'll be back. Okay. 
Okay guys, so I'm all done detangling my hair and as excited as I am about this brush, I am disappointed in myself for wasting so much time using a wide tooth comb when I could be using this. This brush is so bomb, it's so worth it. I'm gonna leave the link down below um, where I, of where I bought it from. It's from their website. And um, okay, let me just take my hair out. The bristles are very like hard, but it doesn't hurt your hair and it doesn't pull and it's almost like when your hair is kind of, when your hair is tangled and it's detangling it, the bristles just move to the side, which is so cool. Um, and this is the amount of hair that I lost, which I feel like was pretty average. That I just came out of protective style for like three weeks. This is actually not bad. So not that bad for my whole head with this brush. And then Obviously, you know that I use the wide tooth comb and this was how much hair I lost with the wide tooth comb. So, you know, not that much, but it's just, that was just a little section. So not that much. We're done. I'm sorry. Sorry, not sorry. So you guys, that is the end of the video. I'm gonna proceed to wash my hair, style, and do the whole thing. So question of the day, what is your detangler of choice? Is it a wide tooth comb, tangle teaser, Denman brush, Felicia Leatherwood, fingers, something else? Let me know. What is your detangler of choice comment down below and let me know your answer to the question of the day thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one